All right, let's create a factorial calculator in C Sharp. So first of all, starting off, if you don't know what a factorial is, it's basically a mathematical function that uh, multiplies any given value with all the numbers below it, except zero, of course. So let's say if we take a positive integer, let's say 10, the factorial of 10 would simply be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 1, 2 into 1. And the same applies for any positive integer we take. I'm not sure about negative integers, but uh, yeah, that's it for positive integers, the basic explanation of factorials. So let's get started with the C-chart program. So first of all, I'll create a static method, which will return a u integer. And if you don't know what's a u integer, a u integer is basically, it's the same as integer, but uh, it can basically hold a greater amount of uh, you know, digits. So it's really handy when dealing with uh, large numbers such as factorials. So I'll call this method factorial. It will take an integer, which we will call num. And this integer will pass in whenever we want to find out um, uh, the factorial of any number. So this is my concept right here. First, we'll take a list of u integers, nums to multiply. So let's instantiate that. And then we'll go into a for loop. And then we'll go into a for each loop. will first implicitly convert uh, a return to uh, you know we will first implicitly convert the num which is an integer to a u integer and then we'll basically do to return into equals to multiply and then we'll return the value and that's it for the function take a look for yourself right here So now let's test this out and we'll first go factorial, let's say of four and let's start the program. It'll take some time because I'm recording. And there we go. The factorial of four is 24 as calculated by the function right here. And as you can see, 4 into 3 is 12, and 12 into 2 is 24, and 24 into 1 is, of course, 24. So I think we did the function right, and you can test this, of course, for higher values such as 30, 25, and all of that. But I found that, uh, you know, the cap for how high the u integer can hold is around 33. Um, you can only pass around 33. So... Uh, greater than 33 the code will break and it'll just show zero so make sure to do anything below 33 if you want a proper result so that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to like it and comment down below what type of tutorial you want next and if you like it also subscribe to the channel for future videos like this and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye